In this video, we're going to take a look at testing solutions of systems of linear equations. A solution to a system of linear equations is one that works in both or all of the equations that are in a particular system. So, in order to figure out if it works, we're simply going to plug in the values from our ordered pair and see if it works. Remember, ordered pairs are in the form x, y. So I'm going to take that first value, and that's going to go in the place of the x in each of my equations, and then the y value will go in for the y, and we'll see if it results in true statements, which would mean that it could be a, or that it is a solution to that particular system. So let's give this first one a try. All right, so we've got y. Well, here's my y value, so it's negative three equals. 2 times x, the x is negative 5, so negative 5 plus 7. Alright, so then we simplify each side, so we have negative 3 equals 2 times negative 5 would be negative 10 plus 7, and finish up simplification here, we have negative 10 plus 7 is negative 3. Now that works, so we're good to go there. Okay, so let's plug that same ordered pair into our second equation, see if it works there. So, here we go. For this one, we have negative x. Now, be careful here, because when we put in negative 5 in with that negative, it's going to be negative negative 5 plus 2 times y, which in this case is negative 3, is equal to negative 1. Now, negative, negative gives us a positive 5, so we have 5, and then 2 times negative 3 would be minus 6 equals negative 1. Almost there, 5 minus 6 is negative 1. Negative 1 equals negative 1. That is also true. So, that means that negative 5, negative 3 is a solution to this system. Okay. Now, there could be multiple solutions depending on what the situation is, but this is one of the solutions for that particular system. Alright, let's take a look at this second one here. For this one, we have another ordered pair that we're given, and then two equations. So, again, our process, remember, it's 3, 0, that's in the form x, y. So here's my x. Plug that in for x right here. So we have 2 times 3 plus 4 times y, well y is 0, so 4 times 0 equals 6, 2 times 3 is 6, 4 times 0, don't forget to follow the order of operations here, sometimes we forget about that, don't forget the order of operations, plus 0 equals 6, 6 plus 0 is 6, and that is equal to 6, so that works. Okay, so then we go to the second one, and let's see what we've got here. 2 times y, so that's going to be 2 times 0, because that's our y value, equals 1 fourth times x, which is 3 minus 7. Okay, simplify, so we have 0 equals 1 fourth times 3, well, to multiply fractions, remember we multiply straight across, so 1 times 3 is 3, 4 times 1 on the bottom, so we have 3 fourths minus 7. So we have 0 equals 3 fourths minus 7 would be negative 6 and 1 fourth. Well, hmm. 0, not so much, equal to negative 6 and 1 fourth, so it does not work there, so that means that this ordered pair is not a solution to this system. It works in this particular equation, but not this one. Now, if you're testing values in a system and it doesn't work in the first one, you actually can stop there because that means it's not going to work for the system. It has to work for both or all of the ones that you're given. Typically, we work with two. All right, so testing solutions of systems of linear equations. Not too bad. We just grab the ordered pair that we're given. Remember, it's in the form x, y, and we replace each of those things into our equations, simplify it down, 
if you end up with something that's true like we did here then it works if it works in both that means it's a solution to the system if it doesn't work in one of the equations or if it doesn't work in either or both of the equations then it's not a solution to the system I hope this video is helpful keep working hard on your math you can do it